Hi there. If you want to know how to get a perfect bloom effect in any conditions make sure to watch this tutorial to the end, so you won't miss any important tips. So let's dive into it. To get a basic bloom is pretty simple. Go to compositing tab, enable use nodes, press shift A and add a glare node. Switch glare type to fog glow and you're done. This method works for both Eve and Cycles, but with EV you can enable it simply by checking this option. But in this case you won't be able to improve this effect. If you added glare node, but there's still no bloom you can decrease a threshold. With this option you can also achieve this kind of metallic shine. Another option is to increase strength of your emission material. Basic bloom works fine with pure colors like red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta. But if you are using something in between, you can achieve a quite unexpected result. This hue shift is correct behavior of bloom, but if you want it to be the same color as your object, you can do it. To achieve this we need to go back to the compositing tab and add a mix node. Switch blending mode to difference and plug in raw image and glare node output. This will give us a pure bloom layer that we can add manually with some adjustments. Duplicate mix node and change blending mode to add. Plug in raw image in our bloom layer. Now add HSV node here and change hue value to make bloom color match the object. But as you can see, if we have few emissive objects, another one gets incorrect hue now. To fix this we need a mask. Add separate RGB node and connect it with bloom output. Plug needed channel into composite node to get black and white image. Render it and save as external image. Now you can adjust it in any 2D editor and import back into Blender. Now plug it into factor input of the HSV node, and also adjust it with a color ramp in this way to make hue changes same for the whole bloom area. Also if you need to decrease hue change effect instead of removing it as I've just done for the red element. You can use few masks or just darken needed area partially. One of common questions about bloom is how to make it work with transparency. There are multiple solutions, but I'll show you one that works the best and provides a perfect result. Enable transparency in your scene, and again we go back to the compositing tab. Add set alpha node and change mode to replace alpha, and connect it with the final output in a file output node. Duplicate last two nodes and rename destination folder. Change mode to apply mask and connect alpha layer with the set alpha node. Now you have basic alpha and color plus bloom layers that will be saved into separate files automatically. After you rendered them you can add these images into software that you need. I'll show everything with blender sequencer as in this way you can also make animations, but you can do the same with any 2D editing software, and I believe with other video editing programs as well. So we need to import our background, alpha layer, and bloom layer in the same order. If you have animation, you simply import an image sequence instead of a single image. Now change blend mode to alpha over for the first layer and screen for the second one. And we have our bloom effect added to the background image. If you'd like to know how to improve your renders even more, check out this one minute tutorial. And as always, good luck with your art.